So last time, the group sauntered from the outpost as it was violently burned to a crisp. As they neared the river, a desperate man approached them and pleaded that they take care of the goblins that attacked his family, though something was amiss with this character. Regardless, they trek across the land to find goblins, and as it turns out, there's no prisoners or evidence of extreme violence that goblins are often prone to. In fact, these goblins looked beat up and worn down. Eventually, the group converses with the goblins and find out that there's a bunch of big uglies that came from below the ground in their cave, and they kicked them out of their home, and uh, eventually, the group came to an accord with these goblins. But first, the group must help the man they found, as tracks are unveiled. Not known to the party, one of their members, thought lost in the attack on the outpost, has been following them and isn't convinced that they're themselves due to, the, due to the bargaining with goblins and talk about a blood contract. Eventually, the party finds out that the man was just a prospector that was trying to get the goblins killed so he could make a few coin, and his family was exposed to be a no man and a deep-voiced female. The party exiled him from these lands and went to confront the mysterious creatures in the cave where they found out that they're actually Fomorians, giant creatures that meddled with too much foul magic in the distant past and are now all deformed. They also have deep gnomes as slaves and follow orders to a fault. And that's where our session ended and it's where our session begins as soon as you finish battle with the Fomorians and took a short rest. All right. So we've got, I think we're talking about which way we wanted to go. There is the one way kind of that we haven't really explored yet that we think that more of the deep gnomes yeah. are down. They're doing the mining, but they are mind controlled slash otherwise controlled by the Yeah, they have some things. collar thing around their neck. That's correct. Or... Uh, I'm assuming that the last Fomorian is down this passage. So, how's everybody feeling as far as exploring going? We don't necessarily know the last Fomorian, do we? I think we... From what we gather, there were three? Uh, as far as the goblins knew, um, there were three. And that's how... Yeah, it mean... yeah. Um... I mean, I guess I'd, I'd be more inclined to hunt Amorians as opposed to the deep gnomes. Um, the gnomes we know are already mind-controlled. I don't think there's going to be anything we can do to help them without breaking the source of that mind control. Well, it's possible it's down that path. And, uh, I mean, I'd, I'd be more inclined to try and kill these things. Yeah, you uh, did Great. hear sounds um, coming up both passageways uh, of mining. Like there's a passageway up where you first came in that led down. Mm -hmm. um, and it didn't seem like those two passageways instantly connected right here. And so you were going to talk about which way you really wanted to go. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm more inclined to go south here and keep going this way, but up to what you guys, do you, do you prefer to take the smaller route, the route that it's less likely the Fomorians will come through. You know, Alexander is starting the march over here, kind of looking around the corner. Alright, it's dark. You can't see anything. Hmm. Pretty much. I think I've still got the light. Yeah, thing. yeah. Okay, so you can see 20, 20. Uh, everyone roll stealth check for me. Damn humans, man. Stealth Perfect. check. Let's see. This is not going to be good, but... Nope, not good. Okay. Um, as you rear around... Okay, uh, you can... Where do you want to go, by the way? Yeah, you rolled with disadvantage, James. Yeah, I'm wearing heavy armor. Yeah. Oh, I probably should too then, but yeah, I yeah. don't think it'll matter. Uh, yeah, yours wouldn't really matter all that much. Um... So, 
Uh, let's see, where did you want to go again, John, or you just want to peer around the corner? I'm just pe uh, looking around the corner there. I'm not, like, full-blown running out there quite yet. All right. So you can see just very faintly in a figure down there, and I need everyone to roll initiative as you're holding a light and... Just kick a couple of rocks by accident, James. Uh, Exaden does too. As you look behind, there's a loud clattering. Nope. Shoot. I'm gonna select my guy. God damn it! It was on 18. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Um, do you know him? By the way, the uh, even these shaped character sheets should load a little bit faster for everyone. I don't know if I've they are or not. What's that? From the, me. from the time I clicked, the time it rolls seems much faster. Okay. Yeah, because they uh, roll twenty themselves put up a um, a little uh, optimization of their code that mm -hmm. makes things load much faster for big campaigns and enhancing the character sheets um, performance so even though this character sheet isn't really affiliated with world 20 like they didn't make it it still loads much faster um, as no no surprise round uh, they just everyone well Alexander you see them they see you as they start, look, one of them starts uh, pointing his crossbow at you, but it's Dannerby's turn. From the motion of Alexander, you can tell that something has happened. You think that you are being too loud. All right. Um, and I'm. I still have no idea what we're facing up ahead. Correct. Uh, and you have half movement speed, if you remember correctly, because you're ugly foot. clubbed foot. Yeah. You're just having a bad time uh, with curses. <laughs> yeah, I mean, part of that's up to you, but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't fail your rolls. I don't fail your uh, rolls. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm going to move up here and I'm going to sort of like whisper just loudly enough for him to hear. Uh, I'm going to try to ask him what he sees. Yep, you can respond, John. More gnome friends, as I, I guess I unsheathe my blade. Okay, yeah, it's or up to you. Whenever, yeah. And I'll... Uh, do I only see the one right there? You only see the one. And right now he's okay. kind of... He's concealed uh, from you part cover. Because he's in dim light. Uh, I guess I'll toss the light about here. Okay. And, uh, you know, with my sword and shield up the ready. Move, uh... Five... 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And that's as far as I can go, and I guess I'll just stay yeah. here then. And you see another one. Boop. And uh, I'll use my standard for the, the uh, what's it called? Not the dodge. Dash? Def it, uh, defend. No, no, no. Uh, the defensive. Okay. The defense thing. Yeah, okay. I think that is dodge. Um, it is that. Okay, yep. Yeah. It, essentially, they have disadvantage against you until you're at the beginning of your next turn. And Drew disappeared. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's their turn. All right. Um. So they have a little crossbow, and it's going to attack you. Oh damn. Make a DC. Oh, it did not roll the hit. So that's silly. So let me actually just manually do it. Does a 14 hit you? I don't imagine it does. Oh no. Alright, it goes poof. That'd be a bad fighter. And then the other one. Oh, it needs to roll twice because you have. They have disadvantage. Mm -hmm. So 11 does not as both bolts go poof, poof. And they go. Intruders! An undercommon, which you don't understand, but Dannerby does. I believe. Um, 
I think I just know common and gnomish. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, they're speaking gnomish. Those common, are... gnomish, draconic, and druidic. Yeah, they're 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 speaking gnomish, and then they route out uh, in another language that you don't understand. You're guessing they're also saying intruders in other languages. Uh, Phil. All right. Um, well, let me, um, let me scoop up the, uh, ball bearing here. Okay. And I'm just going to chuck it a little bit closer to him and, uh, make sure he stays in the vision of it. I can't get a good attack on these guys, um, with the cover rules. Yeah. So. Because you don't have, uh, a, you don't have the feet. That allows you to Not do yet. that, do you? Next level. Next level, you'll get it. Okay. Next level. So, yeah, I'm going to throw the ball bearing a little bit closer just to give him a uh, better vision of mm -hmm. what's going on around here. I mean, you he'll just have plus two to his AC if you attack him. It's not... That's all right. Yeah. That's all right, though. Okay. And uh, that's my turn. All right, Exaden, you're up as the gnomes look about... you. Uh, okay. Sizing up their enemies. I'm going to move to there and uh, draw the great sword. And I think that's that'll be all for a bit. Okay, I need everyone to make a perception check real quick as Danner, as Danner B's turn rears its head. Quick perception. Oh, nice, nice. Jonathan, go ahead and roll a d20 again to uh, maybe get a plus one to perception. Ooh. Hey, you get a plus one to perception, buddy. My old eyes are getting sharp. Yeah, and uh, make sure to note that in your miscellaneous notes on your character sheet. Will do. Okay. Um, so, Fel and John, you actually hear... It actually sounds like something's waking up. And it's off uh, further south, the direct south tunnel. South tunnel? Yep. Okay. It's just echoing throughout the cave. Mmm. Um, Alright. Um, sorry, I'm just checking on something real quick. Yep. Um, well, that doesn't hit me well. And remember, you took short rest, so... Yeah. Anything resets for you, I don't know. If it does or not. Uh, what? Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Bless. Okay. On. There I go. Cool. Are you going to stay right there and cast it? Uh, I'm going to move. I'm going to move forward afterwards. I'm just. All right. Uh, um, I think you have to see, be able to see them. You have to pick a point, and yeah. you bless the area. Oh, that okay. Point. You bless. Oh, I'm. Well, it's, you I'm bless up the, the three I'm creatures. Not see these guys from up there. Oh, up the yeah, three creatures you of your choice. No mind. Yeah. Um, now you can. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't realize I didn't have line of sight there. So let me yeah. move first, and then. All right. Yeah. You can totally see them, all three now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. Three? I'm gonna bless all three. Oh, all, all right. three of us. Okay. Um, so I am going to give everyone a little symbol. Um, means you have bless on you. And bless essentially, whenever you make an attack roll or saving throw, uh, you can roll d4 and add that to the roll. After and, we use it, does bless expire? Uh, no, it, it's a concentration. No. So as long as Danerby does not get hit, and even if he does, he has to, if he succeeds his concentration check, then you're good. He's, it's still there. Wow. All right. Uh, Alexander, you're up as the 
gnomes look like they're about to draw their war picks and charge. I say, uh, I heard the yawning come from this one, right? Yes. No. All right. I say to everyone, the Fomorian is down there, and gesture with my sword as I'll move up to here and take a swing at the dude. Not okay. lethally, of course. Let's stay. Uh, this one. A 16 does hit. All right. And so nine slashing. And um, one more. That will not do it, I don't think. That does not. All right. Uh, you. He's wearing a chain shirt and your long sword finds a little chink in it. Um, and you're able to slice him through. But unfortunately, he does dodge nimbly aside as you swing your long sword. All right. And with that, reacting to your miss and his confidence, he drops his crossbow and draws his war pick, and he attempts to hit you. God, it's not rolling damage. I don't know why, but I'll just do this. Uh, 13 does not hit you, does it? Nope. Okay. Um, what's your dexterity, by the way? Just curious. The dex? Like, plus... Uh, uh, dex mod is plus two. Okay. Um, he, he hits your armor, but it does seem to bounce off as his friend comes up behind him and does the same thing. Does a 15 hit? No. All right. Again, it clings off your armor as you're able to withstand the flurry of blows of a war pick. All right, Fel, it's your turn. You're just watching Alexander being pounded on um, with war picks, but not seeming to do him any harm. Non lethal uh, shots. <laughs> okay. Hey, Lamal. All right, you uh, you aim for the shoulders and the knees. The first one hit. And the yep. first one does hit. And that actually knocks him out. Oh. Okay. Er. Um, the other one probably then... Uh, it does can not, because you're shooting through. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I was actually planning to move then if I got a free attack, and plus I wanted to put myself in a better perspective for this. But okay, you know what? Uh, uh, I'll, I, I can miss the shot, though. That's fine. No, it you, was, you hit. If you, if you move, you hit. Um, um, yeah, no, I want to I stand there and uh, actually put me right there. I just want to make sure I can see something coming from oh, the yes, side. Oh, yes, absolutely. In fact, uh, you actually hear the clinging of metal on rock down this okay. alley. Okay. All right. Uh, you dealt six damage to this guy. Yep. Exaden. Okay. I'm going to move to here and hit the guy diagonally, the one fighting Alexander. I'm trying him. So I'm going to rushing in, swinging my greatsword, trying to hit him with the flat of it to knock him out. Okay. Hi. No, oh, it's not rolling your attack roll either. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let me look at your character sheet and find out. That's an easy fix right there. No problem. One second. There we go. It's fixed now. Cool. Well, I rolled it but, manually. Yep. Uh, that is a hit. And with okay. that, you knock... Ooh, not quite. Well, they, I'm going to re-roll the two in okay. the damage. That'll do it. And with <laughs> that, you just knock him on the side of his head, and he falls harmlessly to the ground. His head will be a little sore. Um, Dannerby, you hear some... Actually, everyone here is something talking in a language unfamiliar to them, unless they understand giant. Nope. Okay. Um, and it 
Make a everyone make an insight check. Ooh, ooh! I was about to say I have. Yeah, roll I'm another d twenty there, John. Now. Hey, okay. it does not decrease, so that's good. Uh, Drew, you're thinking it's asking a question. Um, I, yeah. I don't know how to use that information. Yeah. <laughs> nope, no worries. Uh, on the... Uh, you see, actually, two of your... Actually, all of your friends um, just hovering over these two deep gnomes that have fallen unconscious as you hear this. What are you doing? I turn to my companions and ask, headlong in or maybe some trickery? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm good to stalk in after it, but uh, I don't know what we can really gain tactically by waiting for it to come to us. Danner? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him know that I think that it's confused. Uh, okay. That's, that's all I can tell. We might be able to use that. Do we have anything that we could use as traps? I mean, the ball bearings. Ball bearings. <laughs> I have some cow traps, but... I'm not sure how well they're going to be against uh, the ball bearings, maybe against um, one of these things. But I honestly think if it's stepped on it, it's going to crush it if it's a giant. I can imagine they're good ball bearings, but not that good. Are these large or huge creatures? They're huge. All right. So I think we could use this as a, as a choke point if we have me and Xaden on two flanks and have a middle opening where the you can throw your spells and arrows that will maximize our ability to fight this thing. Well, I mean, I don't even need the middle point. The thing's so, so tall, it's not getting any cover from you. Right. I'm not too concerned about that. Um, I'm just gonna actually sneak down that way. I'm gonna stealth that, though. Okay. I'm gonna grab the uh, the light thing and kind of move over to here. It's closing in my hand, so it's dark. Okay. The light fades, just barely letting out a couple streaks. I'm just keeping my ears open, to see if anything here, if anything's coming down this way. Okay. Diner oh, and uh, oh. now that it's actually relevant, can I retrieve arrows from? Uh... Uh, quickly, yes. All right. Yeah. Both or one or two? Let me find out. Now that's going to start becoming relevant. Yeah. Make sure that. Uh... I thought I rolled. Oh, well, you can retrieve both. Perfect. All right. I'm uh. I'm just going to ready my crossbow and sit sit back where I am. I'm okay. Not going to be too useful in a in any sort of situation with my leg. Yeah. Um, Xaden. All right, I'm gonna sort of move back a little bit, sort of press up against this wall. Okay, make a stealth um, check if you want to hide. Yeah. Go I actually look. realize I've got that cloak of stealth that gives me advantage, which cancels yeah, that's, with my yeah, armor, it cancels so. it out. Yeah, I think that's why uh, John also doesn't have disadvantage right now on his. Did I actually take one of the good ones? Because uh, I kind of tore one. Oh, you tore yours up. Yeah, yeah so you I need to did... re-add yours. Um, so even with that, you just, you know, you're crushing some rocks, and there's two deep gnomes in the middle as you, uh, everyone to make perception check. Ooh, nice. Fell, you hear footsteps, and it actually sounds like more than one set of heavy footprints coming down that tunnel that you heard the yawn from. All right, down the way now. John's tunnel. I, hmm? I rolled a I rolled a twenty on on uh, uh, 
initiative. Then I guess I'll, take, I'll try and make a stealth check as well to try and push myself up against this wall. All right, Phil. Is this a good angle that uh, I wouldn't be able to be seen very easily from around the corner? Yeah, but Phil. Okay. Um, how how far away? You're not able to discern that. All right. Um, I'm gonna move out here. Loud whisper of uh, got multiple sets of large creatures coming, and uh, I'm gonna go back to my spot here. Can I see from this way here? No, no, no. Coming from your way. Okay. Um, yes, you can. Let me just reveal that. I guess you can see a little bit past that. <laughs> Hope I don't have to make a rat in my dash. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to ready an action that once something comes within swinging range, I'll take a whack at it. Okay. We will... Uh... Yeah, we'll keep the same turn order for now. Um, and now everyone's able to hear it. Multiple footsteps. <laughs> And it, some scraping noise as it's as um Xaden, you have dark vision, right? Yes, I do. Okay, you can actually see this large creature or huge creature sucking in his fat and just kind of uh, moving along the side of the cave, mumbling something in giant that you can't understand as he pops out right there. Uh, still squeezing. He um. It doesn't seem like he can defend himself very well right here. And he moves up there. Hmm. And he's squeezing right there. Go ahead and uh, make your um, attack there. Mm -hmm. That's mm. a no. With the advantage, so roll one more time. Oh, okay. Boom. Okay, that's a hit. He has, uh, essentially, he has disadvantage. Um, or you all have advantage right now when he's in this position. The next day, and you actually see another one coming up behind him further down the tunnel. Okay. Uh, so it's two Fomorians, actually. And Damn. I will roll their initiative and find out where they go. And we'll just start with Alexander, since he All right. um, rolled. Uh, so I did, do I get my full action? Or no, you just you readied one? your... Sorry. Um, readied your action. And okay. that was your action, so... Let me see do, here. Do I get my extra attack? Yeah, your action is includes your extra attack. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 21. Okay. With advantage. So I guess I might as well see if I crit. Yep. Remember, you have the normal advantage disadvantage yeah. toggles at the yeah, top. Yeah, that's right. Yep. And they should automatically revert back to normal after each roll. We'll see how that <laughs> It how worked that with works. my health check, so. Yeah, okay. Um, initiative. Oh, my goodness. Initiative. Let's see. 18. That's so good. Alright. Um, so, on its turn, you activated yours, and that's it used its entire action to go up there. It took a dash action. So it's done a few. And now it's your turn again, because that was technically still your last turn, your last action there, John. Cool. So now it's your turn. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I guess I'll just go for the two long sword swings again 16 and 14. Mm. Still advantage, so that's oh. uh, 16 hits. Uh, 16 hits. All right, then my second attack. Now, actually doing the thing. Oh, Ooh, right. crit. You should just Very keep nice. that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, that was with advantage on that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Because a little, it'll say a little green dot in the corner. We'll, yeah, I see that now. Yeah. All right, so you deal 9 plus 7, oh. uh, 16 points and 13 points. Oh, no, 12 points, sorry. Um of damage to it as it screams out uh, and you lance one of its boils and more pus begins to 
spew outward from it, landing oh, near yeah, your shoes very yeah. slowly. Fun guys to fight. Yeah. Important question: Is it purple? No, it's it's just green pus. It's <laughs> nasty. Um, fell. Yeah. It's your turn. I'm gonna pop out. I'm gonna hunter's mark. Okay. Um, the guy. Which is the extra D8 yep. of damage, try to call. It is. And uh, take my shots at him. Okay. With advantage, yeah, okay, you got it. Yep. A 23 does hit. Uh, Dealing right. him 11 so points like of piercing. Um, Jesus, you guys are just gonna kill him. All right. Oh, that's uh, not so good. All right. Extra three damage for that, and then... Because uh, Colossal Slayer two. as well? Yep. Okay. Yep. And then attack number two with... Oh, I'll revert my advantage. That hits. And Colossal Slayer. All right. As another arrow stri strikes another boil, and blood begins to pour out with this one. And I pop back behind the corner. <laughs> uh, I want to make sure specifically that I cannot make eye contact with him. Okay. You He cannot see you. Yep. All right. Exaden. Oh, needless to say, I dropped the light thing. Yeah. If I didn't say that already. All right, I'm gonna move into the fray. Um, okay. You know, muttering curses and infernal under my breath, and take a swing at him. Okay. Uh, Fifteen hits, dealing him eleven points of damage. All right, I'm gonna reroll the two again. Okay. So 12, points of 12 points of damage. And second swing. As this time your great sword um, actually skewers or slashes through his abdomen, and you can actually see some of the internals start pushing out a large intestine just slowly s sliding its way out of its stomach. And with All that right. is a hit as well, dealing him nine points of damage. All right. Also had two in there, so I'll reroll oh, that. Okay. Two. I have an annoyed mechanic. <laughs> so three plus five, eight plus four is twelve. So twelve points damage, and again slashing him through. Uh, this time, lancing open a few boils as they <laughs> all over your armor, green yeah. pus. And my nonstop liturgy of. Infernal curses continues unabated. <laughs> These are not very um, nice things to fight. Dannerby, it's your turn. You got any music lined up for this? Yeah, there's music playing right now. Playing. Oh, I can't hear any. Uh, if your music volume set all the way up. Uh, where's music volume? The cog in the upper right uh, of roll 20's chat thing. All right, uh, just ignore me. Just do okay. your roll. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, all right. Um... Hmm. Well, um, can I? I can see him, right? Yes. From where I am. Uh, yes. Okay. Eight. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna stand where I am, and I'm gonna All right, take advantage. a shot with my crossbow. But he does have a little bit more um, AC because he right. there's someone in your line of sight. I thought. Uh, I thought that doesn't count for this type of distance because he's so tall. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think that's what we did last time. That's yeah, he is 15 time, feet yeah. tall. You're, you're aiming. Uh, don't roll a one, and you should be fine. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> what did I lose my... Okay. Okay, that's a hit. Uh, dealing him Sweet. six... Hmm? Yep. All right, uh, as it actually goes into his jaw, but his head is so massive that it, he actually just bites it, bites the bolt tip off of the uh, bolt and spews it out, dinking off your armor, Exaden. As it's its turn, he, I uh, need, um, both of you to make Actually, no, he's just going to step over you. 
using half speed. No. No. Wow. And he looks at you, Exaden, with all of his hatred. Ew. Yes, you, indeed. Um, and he pierces your mind with his foul magic. Make a DC 14 charisma saving throw. All right. As you hear foul whispers in the back of your head, Ooh. taking oh, 26 what? points what? of damage. Whoa, whoa. whoa. that's oh. actually a 15. Oh. Is it a 15? Because I give, uh, I add my charisma to all saving throws I make again through my uh, aura of protection. It's my talon thing. Oh, okay. So I think you need. Uh, I'll show you how in a bit how to add that in. So 15, you save. Shaking well, the reason off, I thought, Okay. Yes. Um, shaking off the effects. Um, and you only take 13 points of psychic damage. And then it swings its great club at you, Alexander. Duh. Ah, oh, god damn. Damn thing. Alright. So the damage and is going remember to be... you... What? Sorry, I was going to say, remember everybody who is blessed gets an extra d4 yeah. to saving throws. I was actually going to call it less on that. I didn't realize this ability. But... Okay. Um, so, it'll still remain 13 damage, but this is the attack roll itself. Um, nope. 14 does not hit you, does it? Nope. All right. Um, as he swings his club, and you just kind of arm it, arm the club, and soak the blow with your armor, and then he lifts it back up, looking in shock at uh, how strong you are. And he whispers what? something in giant that you cannot understand. Alex. All right. Oh. And then and with that, I will use. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. It's not your turn yet. No, I mean I. Uh, I'm gonna use repost. Oh. Okay. Uh, when a creature misses you with a melee attack, you can use your action and expend one superiority die to make a melee yep. weapon Go attack. Go for it. All right. And one there. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. And I add the d8. All right. So nine plus. Eight. Eight. Holy shit. With that, <laughs> describe your attack. All right. As he swings his club down and I block it uh, with my shield, he whispers whatever it is and I just skewer him straight through the chest, uh, right in the heart. And he instantly stops moving and falls limp, bleeding out as a pus... Uh, begins to drool out from his mouth and blood coughs up from his lungs. All right. As actually, no, that was his movement. But he sees you, Exaden, and just attacks you twice with his great club. Oh, that'll probably hurt. So that's uh, Wait, actually a mark disadvantage. So 19. Uh, the 19 is a hit. All right. Um, take the first damage roll, 13. I'll mark disadvantage on this next one. So 13 okay. points of damage as he attacks again. A 15. Miss. Yep. All right. Um, you're able to just parry his club with your great sword as it just barely strikes your armor, and he reels back. Alexander, it's your turn. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry. Ah, uh, no, that's not what I want. This guy. You hear more shouts and voices. Um, and now it's your turn, Alexander. Okay. Um, all right, hearing that this one is like... And I can like, see it out of the corner of my eye. Yes, you can. I guess I'll just do dodge here waiting for it to come into this position because this is a good spot we've got right now mm -hmm. and uh is it cool if i use that little blue bubble for how many superiority dice i have oh uh, yeah you do you buddy that sounds All right. good let's make it sure you see a weird number and you think oh what's yeah. that actually do you have 
Oh, we'll figure it out later. Um, yeah. Sounds good. All right. Did you use the dodge action? Fell. It's your turn as Alexander appears to... Well, actually, you can't see anything right now. Right. You just hear the sounds of battle and collapse of a Fomorian. All right. Um... Let's see here. I guess I I will peek out um, there, see that it's dead. Mm -hmm. um, see those two basically ready to, to continue to fight. Um. <laughs> yep, you can't see anything else from this. Yeah, I can't see. Yeah, right. I can't see him. Um, I'm gonna just put my back. Well, yeah, put my back okay. to this wall and. Uh, hold out and wait um i'm basically listening for that thing to come in closer but wanting to spy down this hallway okay absolutely and uh have my bow ready of something coming from that way okay exciting okay i'm going to move directly in front of this big guy mm-hmm And as you do that, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you can't really see it. Um, but you see up to that, up to there, as far as that's con concerned. Okay. All right. Do I see anything? down that path? Nope, that's all you see. That's okay. the edge of your dark vision right there. Pretty much. A little bit past your dark vision, but not, not, nonetheless. Alright. I'm going to sort of uh, present the sort of rosary he carries around um, his hand with a little bit of a uh, child's doll attached to it. And uh, continuing to curse in Infernal, but taking on a distinctly uh, different tone, I'm going to abjure enemy. Okay. So he must make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Wisdom. Oh, not disadvantage. Shoot. Hey, he rolled a 15 plus 2, 17. Okay, I think that's good enough. Probably. Yeah, it was only a DC 15. All right, so his uh, speed is halved for one minute or until he takes any damage. Even with a save? Yep, that's the that's with the save. Oh, he'd nice. Be boned if he had failed. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> remind me again, he is slow. Uh... Uh, speed half until he takes any damage. Okay, speed is halved. Sounds good. Um, Dannerby, you hear... Can I occupy this space? I wasn't mm. sure. Sort of in the. Yes, actually, because uh, as long as a square is half unoccupied, you can occupy it, and you can okay. really lay yourself flat against it. You'll be fine. You can totally do it. Okay. So I want to occupy that space. You are, you are some. You aren't able to use your full range of motion in that space, though. Just so you know. Uh, it's. So, will I have disadvantage? You will have disadvantage against you and on attacking. You're kind of squeezing because you're like backed up against the wall right there. Just to let you know. Uh, so it's a disadvantage against me, so I'll actually be a little protected. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, a disadvantage on uh, your attacks. Okay. You're not protected. Okay. Um, okay. I think that's okay. All right. Um, in which case, Danerby, you hear Exaden yell out in some language you've heard before, and uh, he's moved to the side. As you see now, Fomorian off down a little ways. Um, 
So what do you do? I... I'm gonna I'm gonna defer my turn until okay. after the giant goes. Uh, you can only defer your action, not really your turn. That's that's fine. Okay. Do I need a ready one or? Yeah. I think. Um, let, me, let me make sure on that though. Yeah. Um. I don't think there's any turn delay. It's just readying action. In this yeah, one now. I. Yeah. There's really nothing I can do at this point. Um, well, I mean, I, we can delay your turn. It's fine. We'll just your initiative will change. Because he, uh, the giant, the giant loses Excedrin or Excedrin's spell. <laughs> Sorry. What? Uh, when he takes damage. When he takes damage, right? So I don't want to take a shot at him with a yeah. dinky crossbow. That's fair. Um, um, let's just let's leave it. Leave we'll it delay your act. We'll delay um, your turn. I'll pop you back in yeah. there. All right, uh, it goes, and uh, it also has disadvantage on its attacks, but it will actually you. Exciting! You hear something behind it in some language that you don't understand. You assume it's giant, and he actually just disengages. Okay. Speed, 30 feet. And uh, then you actually see this guy. Looks like a Fomorian, but he seems to have some sense of civilization um, about him. He wears clothes. Yeah, and he has a huge staff in one hand that's really just a huge gnarled, uh, pretty much a huge branch part of a tree that he wields as he uh, let's see are you in a straight line from him uh, I mean part of you it, it's weird from a point let's see range 90 feet um any point so the Fomorian was at half speed because he was moving right through he was squeezing oh yeah that's right Here. and then half speed because I uh, abjured him mm. okay well mm. we'll just say he moves right there instead of the full area that he's able to this guy have any did I give this guy any feats I did not so he will actually instead um, how far away is he too far away but you see him there Alexander it's your turn I I'm only myself. yeah excited you see that and you're the only one that sees it all right. Uh, if I can just call out, there's another one. All right, hmm. Alexander. I kind of, uh, I uh, say to Xaden, headlong in or fall back. Head in. And at that, I just run in full speed. Okay. Take a swing at it. Uh, take my two swings at it. Go for it. Seventeen and twenty-five. Uh, both hit. Nice. For me. Let's see, 8 plus 11, so 19 points of damage. Okay. And that'll be what I got. Okay. Um, in which case, fell. You hear Xaden say, there's another one. And you see Alexander rush around the corner. Yeah. Well. Um... I can't actually make it there to be able to get any type of shot. Yeah, because remember those bi those bodies are uh, um, difficult terrain. All right, so 15. About as far as I could go. Yeah, let me um, 
And it's no longer slowed by your abjure enemy, Exaden. Correct. Okay. Yeah, we move into here. Okay. Ish. I mean, I guess, uh, you know, like that. And, um, yeah, I guess that'll be it for me. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Exaden. Okay. I'm going to. I'm not do much, very much at all. I'm just going to move to there okay. and take this one with my greatsword. Sounds good. So, uh, do I have advantage against him? Is he squeezing still? Uh, he is squeezing, but he also has half cover from the turn in the cavern. So he has plus two to his AC. But you do have advantage against him. So. Okay. That's a hit. You got to right. reroll that one, though. Yeah. Oh, nice. So, eight, 12 points of damage as you swing your greatsword at him. And again, uh, that does not hit him. Okay. No. Oh, uh, that one was an advantage. Though. Oh, so go ahead. We'll use that first damage. Okay. Hey. Yeah, that's a hit. So, re roll the one on the first damage. Very nice. As you, again, you just lance all of his boils. He's getting, uh, he's he's delayed his doctor visit for too long. <laughs> um, again, minus. Yeah. All right, and Dannerby. Did all right. Uh, so, how does you, this, how does the game? Sorry, go ahead. Technically, you never took your turn. Oh, uh, that's fine if you just wanted to delay a full round. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, well, it is, it's all working out all right. All right. Um, so how does the how does the gimp leg thing work? Does you just can move I half your still speed. dash? You dash. It's just now. Uh, it's now my full speed it's, instead of yeah. It's now double your half speed, which is would be your normal okay. speed. Um. And this and is difficult. That's difficult, difficult terrain. Difficult Take terrain. Two squares per okay. one. So. Let's just move me up to here. All right, as you climb onto the uh, dead Fomorian, and you look down and you notice that now the Fomorian, half of him has landed on one of the gnomes, and he's actually dead. The gnome like, oh. already? Well, the gnome died oh. because a Fomorian is a huge creature, and he landed on him as he fell. Mm. Yeah. You just noticed that he was no longer breathing, and he had blood coming uh, spewed up around his mouth uh, from his lungs, trying to breathe. And but he's being crushed. Even in death, these Fomorians are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, it's their turn, and this one will again disengage. No longer squeezing. And he goes right there. He only had half his movement because uh, he was squeezing for part of that. Um, and then that's his turn. But then this guy behind him finally is able to do something. And let's see. He seems to cast something on this Fomorian, and a bright light shines around him, and he looks energized. He's like pumping up his his uh, shoulders. <laughs> He's swinging his club real fast. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. All right, um, Alexander. Seeing that he seems a bit more energized, I'll just clang my sword against my chest, run forward, take my swings. Okay. Oh man. Mm. Uh, 17 is able to hit him as you lash out with your long sword and another swing on the back hand, dealing him overall 20 points of damage. All, All right. right. Fell. Yeah, let's um, pop ourselves out. 
Yeah, um, you, yeah you can now see what Xayden sees. I wouldn't be able to not. Yeah, I wouldn't get a shot on the guy in the back there. Yeah. Um, that's not gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna. I lost the one hunter's mark. Um, I can normally put it onto someone, but yeah. because I couldn't see him, uh, you lost you know your what? spell. Yeah. I'm not think, gonna uh, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna take a, a pair of attacks on him. Okay. That's not good. Uh, that does not hit, because he seems to go. Um. You can a D four. Oh, well, only good, on damage, not attack. Oh, I think it's attacks. Think no, it's it's, it's only on attack and saving throws, not oh. damage. Okay, I thought it was damage. Yeah. All right. I totally forgot about the bless. Uh, let's see. Plus, you I... have your a sixteen. It seems to be exactly on as he's about to dodge, and it just gets into his the neck muscle right there. Um, so twenty. Jesus Christ, twenty-eight. Mm. And whoop! <laughs> All right, uh, Exaden. Okay. How is this? Uh, I mean, other than butt ugly and pus filled and having exposed intestine. He looks pretty bad. Guy? Looks pretty bad. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to move to there and attack the greatsword. 18 does hit. Alright, I'll reroll both dice. Nice. Wow. So six points of damage. He's still up. Alright. Mm. Take two. That's a hit. And with that, you chop off one of his legs in one clean blow. He screams out in pain and drops dead. And falls on Alexander and kills him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Dannerby, or excited to anything else after that? Uh, nope. Okay, Dannerby, it's your turn. You and your club foot. Uh, you know what? I am going to. Yeah, I'm gonna move there and search the bodies of uh, the two fallen. Okay. Um, make a investigation roll. Um, as you search, you can use your action for that. Well, remember, there's only... Oh, one of them's still unconscious. Remember that. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna steal yeah. from the living, but... I got you. Uh, you said investigation? Yeah, investigation. You're, like, really in-depth trying to search it out. Alright. Uh, I'll let you know what you find next turn. Uh, as this guy. <laughs> After an investigation, you've discovered that the Pomorian is gross. And he. <laughs> Let's see. He looks at you, uh, Exaden, since you've uh, landed the last blow. He points the end of his staff at you, swirls it around as green mist rises up from his hands around the staff, lunges it at you, and a huge uh, acid arrow f flings towards you. Um, I need you to make a... It's going to be... Yeah. Just, uh, make a... Oh, no. oh, it's a ranged spell attack. My bad. So, dealing you 12 plus 6, uh, well, 12 points of damage and 6 points of damage at the end of your next turn. Um, if it hits you, uh, what was it, what is it, it is, that's what I made it, it's constitution. Alright, so ignore this damage that's about to be rolled up. Okay. But this is against you. 22 versus your AC. <laughs> yeah, that's All right. You take 12 points of acid damage. And uh, on the end of your next turn, uh, you will take 6. Or on okay. the end of its next turn, the target. Yeah, okay. Um, no splash damage, is it? And he uses his... 
other action to give Alexander the evil eye. Oh, man. All right. So make a DC 14 charisma saving throw. Remember, you have a plus four. Yep. Well, you have a... Oh, that's uh, not going to do it. Yeah. Even with the the bless, Mm. he won't be able to do it. Take 14 points of damage and... With stare from felt safe. Oh, that's so weird. You're only cursed if you fail. Oh, wait, yeah, it was a fail safe. Duh. I was thinking opposite way. Um, so. Alright. Uh, your gut actually begins to expand and push through your armor a little bit. Um, and Xan, you look, and he has a belly that's coming out underneath his armor at the torso, and huge boils are on it. And it's kind of impeding your leg movement. Uh, so right now, your speed is halved. You have disadvantage on ability checks, saving throws, and attacks. Oh, shit. And attacks based on strength or dexterity. You have so that, too. Uh, Danner B, by the way. I didn't realize there was other things as well. So disadvantage on ability checks. So wait, what? Saving throws, attacks that are based on strength or dexterity, and your speed is halved. 